phone or Android device or something. Uh, and 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 also, I had this conversation now for well, just over a month now with a, a person who's got about 16 patents or so, and uh, he uh, he was approached by the trolls of Microsoft, the proxies of Microsoft and Apple. And it's very obvious. It's very obvious who they are because of their employment history and, and basically they speak about what their intent is. And they they were trying to get his uh, patents on things like tablets uh, to extort clinics, and we're trying to have him uh, pass the patents to the uh, Open Invention Network for a defense of Linux, and that's that's been ongoing for a while. So we'll see what we'll see how that works. Well, let's we'll move on to the next topic now. Uh, Roy, I think it's one of yours on the list. Well, there is the class action lawsuit against uh, against Microsoft, uh, and it's to do with uh, Windows Phone Seven. Uh, I believe it's to do with a camera. Uh, what I've read, it's it's the the way the the implementation of the software around the camera is. Is is basically sharing your um, details, your photos, your all kinds of uh, things that uh, would kind of make you know Orwell approve in some ways, <laughs> because uh, you, you you know you always think okay this this camera has got a you know you know this this one's got a camera and I don't really want this thing around me when I'm like you know going to the shower. And that's one thing, you know. It, <laughs> or something. No, no, listen, listen. The thing is, no, I know it's. it's Are hard. you ashamed oh, right. or something? <laughs> no, no. You know, people do things on their phones. For example, sex, sexting. But I, I, I don't really use the phone. So yeah, and then I, they I, get locked away in jail as a sexual deviant yeah, to become listen, a sex listen, offender yeah, for life. Usually, yeah, and usually they have to send these things over. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> which, which is in, in itself is quite troubling. The, all, all those cases against, you know, like what when, what happens with ki- kids and send these things to each other. What happens when the company which makes your phone or makes your operating system for the phone is starting to kind of gather information from your camera without your awareness? So this is this is really tricky business. And also when it when it comes to flash, you know, we have to really approve the microphone being part of the the, the part of the uh, uh, of the signals that the that flash is, is allowed to, 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 to pick data from. So, so, because, because you you don't really want to sit in a room and like say things or speak to someone and then find out that Flash was basically eating up your data and sending. Yeah, I, 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 well, that that and with your bandwidth caps, they can get really expensive. <laughs> yeah. But, what, what, I, what I honestly miss, uh, and they haven't made devices like this since two thousand one, but once upon a time, our consumer electronics devices had a physical on-off switch for things like microphone cameras and Wi-Fi where you could actually turn it off physically where it wasn't software based and you were just kind of trusting that no one nefarious was doing anything that to me is the easiest solution to this just put a physical button back on these devices that kills that circuit when not in use or just a bit of black masking tape would probably do the job so well, that kills the camera but that, I, that <laughs> would take care of the microphone <laughs> <laughs> well Yes, well, leaving thoughts of um, members of the Tech Bite show in the shower being filmed on their camera, uh, I believe we've got another topic, um, one of Roy's, um, on the list to cover. Well, there is the uh, thing about iPad we mentioned before, the fact that the statistics uh, seem to indi- indicate, we actually didn't refer specifically to statistics, but uh, I think Comscore and also Nielsen now, they talk about Android, uh, being well beyond uh, Apple in terms of market share. That's United States, of course, because those firms tend to be based in the United States and uh, they give you a very biased view of how things go. And uh, So I think the iDevice is a very popular in the States because it's an American company. Uh, but even in the States now, you see that the uh, Android devices are starting to sell, I think, about 40% based on source and almost the majority of things, which would mean over 50% of the devices being sold with Android, uh, which is really good news for Linux advocates, I guess, because we don't really have many open, uh, truly open platforms based on Linux for mobile devices. Um, uh, WebOS wasn't one of them anyway, but I suppose Migo would be nice if we had Migo with, oh, with but, good news. But WebOS was based on Linux too, you know? It just wasn't... It, and I mean, if we're honest, a- Android isn't purely open, but it's still based on the Linux uh, core, so it's... Yeah. Uh, interestingly, I think there is the concern that they might be branching a bit too far, and, and at this stage, I mean, they could even afford to basically fork the kernel and have their own team, because if they have the financial incentive to 
uh, well, the, the, the don't create the incentive technically to to move away from Linux, but if necessary, they... no, no, they won't fork the kernel. But uh, a little over a year ago, the Android tree became independent of the Linux kernel, so the Android tree can develop entirely independent of the kernel, and you know can become a proprietary layer on top of you know using Linux to run. Google could do that. Hopefully they don't. Hopefully Isn't this what Monta Vista is doing to an extent? Or maybe Windraver as well? Y yeah. It's, uh, if Google's smart, they won't do that because some of this open API stuff they're proposing for Android to make it form factor agnostic, uh, if they leave that open, a lot of innovation Google could never dream or imagine of will be done by some geeks, and it will be done on the Android platform because it's the easiest to do it on when you don't have to fight with somebody else's uh, box. So hopefully Google remembers that's what let Android grow, that they didn't put those limitations on and just... Uh, have, have you read about Firefox uh, coming to the... Uh, I think they come just to the... Oh, I think it's been customized for tablets but only those which are based on Android. And so from some source I read about it, uh, about the iPad not permitting rival browsers. Is, is this true still? Um, yes and no. It's basically iPad official policy is any rival browser wouldn't be allowed because it's duplicating Safari, which is duplicating a function of I uh, iOS. And if you're duplicating the function of iOS, you're bad. But they've kind of turned their head and coughed and allowed a few. Uh, but technically, any third-party browser violates that terms of thing. And, and I have really mixed feelings about Firefox lately because, A, I hate their new numbering system. It, it drives me nuts. Yeah, I, um, I, run away. I, I run back away from it. So I'm <laughs> on 3.5 and 3.6 now. And uh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's insisting I go to version 6 and I'm checking through all my plugins to make sure it doesn't screw them up because of excessive number system changing. They need to stop that. They need to go back to their old numbering system. They thought but, about yeah. it and then they thought again and just, no, 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 it's okay. We're going to go on anyway. Yeah. Well, no, but see, that's in line with what they're doing, which is they have started censoring what plugins are okay and aren't. You know, they're, Firefox is becoming not so open. They're becoming, we want to kind of have control of stuff. And they're forgetting what made Firefox Firefox. Uh, it's, they're going to piss their core users off if they keep down this path. And, you know, they'll just go over to Chromium, or they'll go over to the various... I, I left... Uh... Firefox is my, my, not my primary browser for the first time since 2004, so I moved to uh, Chrome first. And... I, I, I'm ready to move as soon as I can get the equivalent of one of the uh, plugins, or not plugin, um, again, I can't remember the word, but I use tree style extensions. extensions. Yeah, extensions. Yeah. I use the freestyle browsing extension, which yeah. is now no longer supported. You know, Mozilla has officially stated this is a bad plugin. I'm like, I don't care, I love it. And that's uh but there's no good equivalent to that in other browser plugins. The moment there is, I'm picking up ship and leaving. They've they've done too many things. I, I got and, one of those in two thousand and five from the Chinese site and uh, it took me three hours to recover my Firefox uh afterwards because it wasn't exactly uh, very uh, well tested. So I, I don't really know which one to use now and I'm, the last time I tried one was six years ago. So, Well, well uh, sticking or going back to just a very quick bit of Android news, we've got uh, rumors or there's been rumors for quite a while about uh, the Kindle tablet and it appears that maybe those rumors are a little more than just rumors and it's going to be coming out just before Christmas, or certainly that's the news according to CNET. Now, the Amazon Kindle tablet, uh, in light of no other name for it at the moment, is apparently going to be running on Android. Um, and I didn't know, Roy or Rusty, if you had any take or any views on this uh, on this latest development. Well, I, I recently bought a Kindle, so um, I'm going to say this. If it's not done with e-ink or it doesn't have an yeah. e-ink mode, mm -hmm. it's just going to be another yeah. cheapy Android tablet with nothing to distinguish it, and I'm not really sure it's going to well, be... Well, they could subsidize it based on the fact you'll buy some books on it for it. DRM's thingies, you know, binaries, big mess, encoded. 
I think that's their business model. This is one of the subsidies subsidies they can uh, supply. So, to like you. part part of buying your your Amazon Android device will be you'll get a credit for Amazon. Yes, so I, so you could.